In Kano State, a state high court has upheld its earlier order halting the State House of Assembly Investigative Committee from probing the bribery allegation against Governor Abdullahi Ganduje. The court also ordered all other parties involved in the investigation to maintain status quo pending the determination of the originating summon. Ganduje has been seen on video taking bribes from an unnamed contractor. He has, however, denied the video, insisting it was doctored. Well, less than a week after President Muhammad Buhari declared a state of emergency in the water sector, stakeholders converged in Abuja to find a solution to the massive water shortage and lack of portable water to millions of Nigerians. Commissioners of Water Resources, Permanent Secretaries, Chairmen and Managing Directors of River Basin Development Authorities, Managing Directors of Water Agencies and experts in the sector are gathered here to formulate policies to address Nigeria's water challenge. Adesha Wadushoga has the rest of the story. Water supply, sanitation and hygiene is the focus of this gathering. After President Buhari raised an emergency status of Nigeria's water situation, policymakers and critical stakeholders have set out to address the issue. Majority of the speakers are of the opinion that Nigeria needs huge investment in the water sector to attain sustainable development goal. Nigeria needs to invest about $8 billion annually in providing portable water to achieve six of the sustainable development goals by the year 2030. We are experiencing water infrastructure deficit in Nigeria. There is no gain saying some states are fairly doing well while some others are not. This government should go, should, should look into how we can have a seamless success across the state of the Federation. I quite agree that inadequate investment is one of the factors for the full coverage of WASH in Nigeria. Thanks to the Honorable Minister of Water Resources and his team for their unrelenting effort and programmatic initiation, guidance and policies towards water sufficient sufficiency and better sanitation and hygiene for all Nigerians. Less than 7% of people in Nigeria have pipe bomb water in the houses from public sector. If not, they are private uh, boreholes. Less than 7% of the population has got water connected to the houses. And today in Nigeria, there are less than one or two towns with 24, 24 hours of water supply. So what it means is that Nigeria has to invest. Nigeria has to invest. Permanent Secretary FCT Administration and Permanent Secretary Federal Ministry of Water Resources stress the government is mindful of the challenges of water and its importance to the health of the nation. They, however, called on stakeholders to put in their best for maximum result. As you deliberate and brainstorm on how to increase investment for accelerated coverage of water supply and sanitation in Nigeria, I urge you all to profile the way forward in addressing the funding gap in water supply and sanitation management in Nigeria by thinking outside the box. In spite of the enormous opportunities in the water sector, in terms of abundant fresh water, favorable weather, substantial human cap capacity, and numerous institutional arrangements, there are still, of course, a lot of challenges. This gathering, therefore, is yet another step towards addressing the mirrors of challenges and to concretize efforts of various stakeholders towards ensuring adequate water supply and sanitation services to our ever-increasing population. The two-day event is expected to produce policy guidelines for managers of water agencies and institutions in the country. Adeshawa Odushaga, TV360. Lagos.